Hi, this is Dr. Mustafa Khan. I'm a board-certified orthopedic spine surgeon. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a surgical procedure called ACDF, or anterior cervical discectomy infusion. It is one of the most commonly performed procedures on the spine, and it is usually very successful. This surgery is performed to help those patients who have a pinched nerve in the neck. That condition by itself is called cervical radiculopathy. Patients with a pinched nerve in the neck may have shooting pain, numbness, or tingling radiating all the way into the arm. They may have a significant amount of numbness, weakness, pins and needles, or tingling associated with this pain. The ACDF surgery has four major steps. Step number one, identify the correct level where the herniated disc or the bone spurs are pinching the nerve. Step number two, remove the degenerated disc and the bone spurs to free up the nerve which is getting pinched in the neck. Step number three, insert a piece of cadaver bone graft into the space where the disc used to be to keep the disc space open. And step number four, stabilize the spine by putting a plate and some screws to hold everything together. Today I'm going to show you an example of an ACDF where I removed three degenerating discs in the neck, which were causing the patient a lot of pain, numbness, and tingling radiating into the arm. The patient had an excellent surgical result. Let me show you how I did it. The surgery begins by making a small incision on the left side of the neck. After getting down on the spine and visualizing it, we check a x-ray to identify the different levels. Using the x-ray localization, we can count all the way from C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, and 7 vertebrae. Then we identify which disc we are going to be removing. And the way we do it is by putting a small temporary pin into one of those vertebral bodies, into one of the bones, and again, checking a second x-ray. In the case of this patient, I needed to remove three discs. The discs between C4, 5, C5, 6, and C6, C7 bones. I began by starting at the C6, C7 disc. Temporary pins are placed in the two bones, C6 and C7, and the disc is removed with special instruments. The bone spurs, which are pinching the nerve, are also removed. After the C6, C7 disc has been removed and the nerves have been successfully decompressed or unpinched, we place a sizing instrument where the disc used to be. Then we take a small piece of a cadaver bone graft and we insert it into the space where the disc used to be so we can keep the two bones apart so that the nerve does not get compressed again. Next, using the same method, we go to the level above at C5, C6. The disc is removed along with the bone spurs, the nerve is unpinched, and a small piece of bone graft is placed at that level as well as we had just talked about. Then we go to the level above at C4, C5, repeating these steps. In this manner, we have removed three discs and we have unpinched nerves at C4, 5, C5, 6, and C6 and C7. The final step is to put a plate and some screws on the spine to hold everything together. We begin by putting a plate of the appropriate length in the front of the spine, checking an x-ray to make sure that the plate is not too long or not too short. Then we hold the plate against the bones by putting two tiny pins. Afterwards, we put some screws through the plate, securing it firmly at C5 and C6. Finally, we put the screws into C4 and C7. Then we use special instruments to tighten the screws into the plate so that they do not become loose. After the surgery, the patient is placed in a soft cervical collar. They stay overnight and go home the next day. In the case of this patient, the surgical result was excellent and 100% of the neck pain and the radiating symptoms into the arm were resolved. The ACDF is one of my favorite surgical procedures.